I am Dr. Vijay Lakshmi. I've been practicing in motherhood since four years. And I would like to brief you a little bit about treatment of gestation diabetes. The first step in the treatment of gestation diabetes is to modify your diet and the lifestyle changes. When I say diet changes, I mean to say that reduce your carbohydrate intake because basically gestation diabetes is a condition where the blood sugar levels are high. We would like to keep it in the normal range of less than 140 mg per deciliter even after 2 hours of diet. So by way of uh, diet change, you have to minimize your carbohydrate intake. At the same time, maintain a balanced nutrition for the growing fetus. So, instead of just cutting down the carbohydrates totally, I would advise you to take small frequent meals and uh, or you can distribute the meal intake. Between three meals, you can take some snacks or fruits and something like that and still maintain the blood sugar within the normal range. Best advice will be to Take more of proteins and vegetables and fruits to minimize sugar, sweets, candies and uh, pastries etc. And uh, do not skip meals, do not go on diet during pregnancy. Okay, That's the first part of it. And secondly, a little bit of exercise and a little bit of active life in pregnancy. Of course, if there is a strong contraindication to exercise and diet and uh, um, active life, maybe you should go on further medication from your doctor. Exercise, I mean, it is a moderate walking every day at least for half an hour in the morning or in the evening. Um, not too brisk walking or not too active uh, working at office or at home. And uh, being a gestation diabetes, the third step will be you may require frequent hospital visits the doctor would like to monitor your blood sugar. Ideal will be to monitor your blood sugar at home by yourself. It's called home monitoring. And if any time you feel it is more than 140, 160 and things like that, you have to visit the hospital and mention it to the doctor. And uh, more ultrasonography, maybe every month ultrasonography, especially in the second trimester, just to make sure that the baby is doing well. And uh, other uh, other. Uh, tests like NSTs and, and uh, blood sugar and blood and urine test will also be checked during your visits. And, uh, without, and by all this, if still the blood sugar remains high and if there are some complications cropping up during this type of pregnancy, maybe the doctor will like to put you on medication, mostly with good dieting and exercise, oral medication is sufficient. In spite of it, if the blood sugar is good, more, insulin shots should not be bad. If the sugar is maintained in the normal range throughout the pregnancy, there will not be any complications and the pregnancy will do well, the outcome will be good. If by any chance the sugar is not well maintained, if there are some complications cropping up, maybe hospitalization, control the blood sugar and if necessary, Further advice on diet, exercise and things like that, if things are not settling down, probably preterm delivery also will be planned.